Hey, happy Friday and welcome to November. I gotta tell you though, the end is near. The end of daylight savings time, that is, because on Sunday we have to turn our timepieces back one hour to comply with the end of daylight savings time. This is that hideous tradition that was started by Ben Franklin, who claimed it would help farmers. But when you think about it, what else did Benjamin Franklin discover? Electricity! And what happens when it gets dark earlier? People turn on their lights and use more electricity. So if you think your electric rates are too high, you can thank Ben Franklin. They started it. Another sign of the end is that next Tuesday is Election Day, a time when we can elect new politicians to screw up the country. The best thing to say about Election Day is that after it, there won't be any more political ad overkill for about two years. Now, I've always been a rebellious sort, so I'm not going to set my clock back an hour on Sunday. I'm going to set it ahead 23 hours. Take that, Mr. Franklin, along with this week's Friday Funnies. Unlike most states, Maine does not have an approval process for vanity license plates. This means drivers could request and were granted just about anything they wanted on their license plate. Unfortunately, many of their requested plates were rather offensive, and now the state is cracking down on them. They, uh, they seek to get rid of future offensive plates by banning any references to age, race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, and profane or obscene language. In the meantime, the state has issued recall notices for the existing plates considered offensive, including, and I'll try and get them as they go by, horny, kiss my ass, it's out, rat bastard, I squirt, coming, and of course, F you, except it's, it's spelled out. I suggest you visit Nate, get Nate, I suggest you visit, visit Maine now before the game of license plate spotting gets boring. <laughs> I don't know the identity of this week's dumbasses, but they certainly deserve the honor. Now, unless you've been living in a cave, you know, without cable, you're aware of Kanye West's problems. He made nasty anti-Semitic statements and everybody who sponsored, endorsed, or sold his products dropped him like a hot matzo ball. Before the maelstrom, Kanye was a billionaire, but now he's lost so much money, he had to sell three letters of his first name. That's why he's called Yee. Well, I'll admit it's probably bad to lose half a billion dollars, but Yee's dumbass fans have started GoFundMe pages to make him a billionaire again. There are currently three pages out there, and they have collected a total of $5. Who's that guy? All I know is that if these people want to open GoFundMe pages for others, open one for me. Until then, ye fans, you can relish being our Dumbass of the Week. In Durban, South Africa, they are observing National Stroke Week. There were 25,000 stroke-related deaths in South Africa last year, and the locals think that the cause is witchcraft. But the head of the health department, Dr. Shabalabala, or Shabalala, it's a fun name to say, anyhow, try it. Anyhow, he urged people to start taking care of themselves rather than bitch about the witch. He told them to walk 30 minutes three times a week, cut back on sugar, and stop smoking. The gathered audience of witches responded by shaking bags of bones and chanting something about turning Dr. Shabalala into a toad. <laughs> Stay tuned for details. Hey, that's it, my friends, uh, for another week of laughs. Please pass these along to everybody. Also, please listen to my podcast, Another Day Above Ground. Other than that, go out and have a wonderful weekend. Remember to turn your clocks back, and even more importantly, remember to vote. See you next Friday. <laughs>